Hola, mi gente. Meet Jennifer Kess. And if I mispronounce her name, me vale. Jennifer has some interesting views about undocumented immigrants. Let's hear them out. These students that are specifically being discussed are the illegal immigrants. School district is prohibited from ask, asking that question. Okay, so this woman, Jennifer, went to this hall to do nothing other than to, you know, vomit out her prejudices against brown immigrants. So she's a school board member continually calling human beings illegal. Pretty bad already. But if I'm talking about it, you know it gets worse. I hope you guys look, I just pulled this off of the internet. Look at the downward trend of our school over the last 10 years. Stay nice out. It, her, her dinner table talks that she has with her family, with her racist dad and mom, or whoever, whoever it is, it doesn't matter who it's with. You know, and she gets these BS statistics to basically say that these immigrants aren't as intelligent as our good white students, and they're going to drive our test scores down. There are so many reasons why test scores can go down. It can be because of family issues. It can be because of health issues. And this is it mass. What types of things are going on in the community? No, no, no. It's just that we have these hordes of, of brown immigrants coming. Because people like Jennifer, the reality is, is they'll see a family or two, right, of, of immigrants. And then all of a sudden that means, oh, they're coming. It's spreading. The virus is spreading. Next thing you know, Everyone's going to be an immigrant around me. That's all this is. That's all it is. Those people. Those people. Okay. May potentially continue on this downward trend. As we have people coming into our school district who don't speak any English, who have no schooling in America. Because in general, when people come over to this country, they're coming here for a better life. You know, the children of immigrants work very hard and their parents push them to work very hard because they come over here and they have to work. I mean, man, these Guatemalan, these Mexican, these Central American immigrants work. They work so hard and they work jobs that Americans don't want to do. You think that they're going to put up with their children not doing well in school? If you think that, you don't know any immigrant parents. Trust me. Oh, no, 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 no. Some of the most successful people in this country are the children of immigrant parents, right? So th that her whole spill, her whole sale is ridiculous on its face because people don't come to the United States to be losers. They come to the United States to win. They come to the United States for a better opportunity. That's why they're here. But Jennifer, come on, finish this off. What are you really trying to say? That's fine. I'm just saying, if we are accepting those people, those will very much drive down, again, additional, you know, numbers on our, on our scores. Amelia, this is a call to action. Right now, there is a petition going around asking for Jennifer Kess to resign from the Oxford Area School Board. People like her with racist and dehumanizing views should not be in positions of power. So let's give her the attention that she deserves. And just like my man said at the end of the video, people like her who have these types of views shouldn't be in positions of power, especially not in modern times, because... When you have those types of biases, you don't really try to correct yourself. That, that's just reality to you. That's just what it is. And that's why it really matters what your viewpoints are when you get into positions of power. Because if you just blindly believe that certain people are harder working or smarter than others or more deserving of opportunities than others, that's going to reflect not just in your speech, but in your actions and the decisions you make and the bills you pass or, or don't pass and, and favors you give or don't give. It, it, this type of stuff really matters. So yes, let's sign this petition. Let's get Jennifer up out of here and let's get more people like her up out of here because, you know, especially when you're looking at, you know, school boards and school districts, this is the time when children are being formed and shaped into who they're going to be. So no, we don't need people like Jennifer on staff. Let's get her out of here.